right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a, a quick overview of how to update software. Uh, basically, this video would apply to machines made by Crane. Um, here we have our 7-inch Merchant touchscreen. Um, there's the other version with the keypad, and this also for the newer BevMax with the uh, touchscreen. So this overview should help you. Um, before doing this, we do recommend that you review your owner's manual, have the owner's manual with you. Um, this video basically is designed to be supplemental um, to kind of help people when they buy the, um, the USB drives. Um, on our website, we have uh, six of them currently listed. So on the top of the USBs, we kind of identify which machine. So it could technically be like Merchant Touchscreen or Merchant Keypad. Um, so there's going to actually be a total of six USB drives, but the lower line is very important. This is going to be your software version. So, you know, if you've bought one before, you want to check before you buy another um, just to make sure it's the most updated version. You know, or if you look at your machine, this is the way it's going to show. So that's your software version. Again, when you're looking at your USBs, the save or reset, very important. The save is going to keep all your price settings and all your configurations. The reset, this is basically a factory reset. So if your board has failed or you're getting odd um, lines in the boot up, then you're going to want to do the reset. But when you do reset, again, you're going to have to reset your prices on a BevMax, the hook swipe. So um, just kind of pay attention to the, the line on these USBs uh, before you start using them if you own more than one. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how to retrieve the software version of your machine so you know um, what, what you're going to be installing. Um, and then again, for each of the three types of machines, we have what we call like save or preserve and then reset. So the reset software would recommend, and I'm going to scan to a picture next showing you where there's basically a firmware failure. So we would recommend reset. Um, if all you're doing is updating the software, I would recommend you use the save. Um, so the save is not going to overwrite your prices. It's not going to um, overwrite any of your accounting. Um, so when you do the full reset, you, you have to go in and reconfigure the machine. Um, if you do the full reset on a BevMax, you're going to have to do your hook swipe. So again, um, the save is much easier, uh, but in any case, you know, this, again, this is a supplemental video, so you want to uh, review all your factory authorized materials and booklets before starting this procedure. Um, basically, to start this, you're going to you know, want the thumb drive that has your saver reset, and we're, of course, going to start with the machine. We want to turn it off. Um, at this point, I'm going to insert the thumb drive. Um, on the boards, like this one, there's actually three ports. Um, they can all be used. Um, I'm going to go to the one that's colored white and just insert my thumb drive. It will only go in one direction. So that fit in firmly. And uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn the power back on. Machine. So we can hear everything initializing. Basically, this new software loading, you know, it's a three or four minute process. Um, you'll be able to watch the screen and see as it progresses. So this is a good sign. You'll start having some very small text, basically, and it kind of gives you an account as to what's happening. But this, this will take, uh, you know, several minutes for it to fully uh, uh, load the new firmware. Okay, so at this point, we have this little message down here that says, uh, please remove USB from board. You do not turn the machine off at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and just follow my instructions and remove the USB. So I've removed it. So now the screen has changed because it knows that I've removed the USB. And again, this this, as it reinitializes, this process will take a few minutes. Very good sign when I get my Crane logo. So at this point, the, the top screen right here was saying basically that it was complete. But you know, while it's complete, I do not recommend, you know, don't touch any power, don't touch any recess. Like this is automatically doing it. It's a very well written program. So just allow it to do everything uh, without touching any buttons. I've had people uh, hit mode buttons or kind of do the door open close switch. Just let this thing do its own thing while while you're updating the firmware.
Okay, great sign. So this is still giving us some loading uh, near the end. I guess it restored the LED lighting. Um, so basically here now, um, you know, it, it's complete. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll close the door and then um, you'll be back and uh, be ready to use. Um, if you've done the full reset, then you're going to need to go ahead and enter your PIN number um, and, you know, kind of reconfigure it with your prices, potentially any devices you have installed. But if, if all you did was what I call the save or preserve, um, at this point you're done, you'll be able to close the door. Um, I definitely recommend, you know, running money through it, doing a full test, testing the guaranteed vend, just to be sure. But most of our customers buy the save preserve. Um, if you were in a position where you had to do the restore, um, now you're going to need to go in and reset your prices. All right, um, here's just a, a quick video on how to retrieve your uh, firmware issue. Um, I'm here on a Merchant 7-inch touchscreen. So basically, um, you know, I've already accessed the menu. First one that's going to pop up on this menu, it says firmware information. So I'm just going to touch this. All right, so now I have all my information. And, and basically, before or after you would do a software update, or if you just need the information, you want to look right here. It's about halfway down the screen. And this right here, this version right here, I'm showing 1.9.14. So at the time of this video, this is the most current there is. So if you're planning on updating or just needing to know what it is, or after you've done an update, if you need to verify, um, as simple as just touching two buttons, and uh, you'll be able to read your software version.